بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ramadan time. It is another day of Ramadan and alhamdulillah I have done so many juz in reciting the Quran. I am really grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be able to read so many juz. Let me ask you some questions. Have you read the Quran? Have you done dhikr? Have you done ibadat? And most importantly, have you prayed salah on time? Ask yourself these questions. If you haven't done it, you should do it now, especially at the fact that you know that this month gives you so many more rewards than on a normal day. Let's move on to the good deed of the day. Spend your day solely in remembrance of Allah. Find a quiet place, your room, the masjid, sitting under a tree, etc. And remember Allah and all he has done for you. Okay, Samiha? Samiha, you know that in the Quran, it says, So remember me, and I shall remember you, and be grateful unto me, and deny me not. Okay? So, we should always remember what Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done for us, okay? We should mm-hmm. always be grateful for everything that he has done for us. Oh, okay. <laughs> now let's move on to Hadith. <laughs> Abi Musa al-Ash'ari radiyallahu anhu An-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam su'ila ayul muslimina afdalu qala من سلم المسلمون من لسانه ويده. Abu Musa رضي الله عنه narrated that he asked Allah's Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم, whose Islam is the best, i.e., who is a good Muslim. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم replied, one who avoids harming Muslims with his tongue and hands. So, Sumiha, we should never say mean words to one another and we should never ever hit them or touch them in a way that uses our hands. Or don't be rude to them. Yeah, because that's not very nice, is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, let's have a look at the lessons of this hadith. Number one, the best among Muslims are those who avoid harming others. Okay, Sumiha? So, you should never try to harm others, okay? Mm-hmm. Number two, we should never curse anybody. Number three, saying something that hurts. Curse. Oh, curse. When you curse someone, it means that you're, that you're saying bad words to them and you're swearing at them. Yeah, That's even, not good. Even say mean words, be mean, mean. Yeah, because that's not nice. That will make them upset. Mm-hmm. If you don't share all your toys, then they're going to be sad. <laughs> and also, if you be nice to them, then they will be nice to you. Yes. Just as Samiha said, if you be nice to someone, they will be nice to you. Number three, saying something that hurts or angers others is harmful and not allowed in Islam. Mm-hmm. So if you say something that hurts someone's feelings or makes them angry, that's harmful and that's not allowed in Islam. Mm-mm. Yeah. Number four, we should you avoid... To... Sorry? You need to do nice languages. Yeah, you have to speak nicely to another person. Mm-hmm. Especially to your family members. You should treat them with respect, okay? Number four, we should avoid saying or doing things that cause friends to fight or be divided. Mm-hmm. Okay? Let's move on to the discussion section. So, Sumiha, I'm going to ask you a few questions and you're going to answer them, okay? Can we shout and scream angrily at our family? No! Yes, that's not good. We so, should talk nicely to them. Yeah, why is it bad to shout and scream angry at our family? Because they're going to be angry at you then. And they will be upset. Yes. They will be very, very sad and they will be very upset and they're going to start crying maybe 
If it's your sister and you're shouting at them in a really, really angry way, they can start crying. Yeah, but your kids shouting and your mum shouting even. Yeah, that's not good. You should mm -hmm. always respect another person. Mm -hmm. And you should always have an amazing amount of kindness and responsibility not only that you should also be very very nice to them you yeah. should be gentle to them if they make a mistake you shouldn't be harsh on them you shouldn't be firm on them you should be gentle okay yes. you should be kind you and should, you, you should be writing when you're telling them to yes. help you and you explain their mistake in a gentle way and in a kind way Number four, give one example of harming a friend with our hands and discuss why we should not do that. So what's an example of harming your friend with our hands? Um, maybe... When you hit someone. Yeah, when you yeah. hit someone or you slap someone, that's not good. Yeah, if you push them away as well, that's not good. We shouldn't also, do that. we shouldn't kick them or anything. Yeah, why should we not do that? Because they're going to be sad. Yeah, they're not going to want to be your friends anymore. Yeah, if you be nice and they're going to be nice to you and then they'll play with you, then they will play with you all the time. <laughs> Okay, now that we've finished our hadith, let's move on to Sora Learning Time! Yesterday, Samiha said Sora Nasr by herself, mashallah. Mm. Today, we're going to move on to Sora Al Kafirun. I'm going to teach her, then tomorrow she's going to say it by herself. Okay? Yay. Inshallah, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Now, repeat after me. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا أيها الكافرون قل يا أيها الكافرون لا أعبد ما تعبدون لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم واليدين لكم دينكم لكم دينكم نكم واليدين Now I'm going to say it again and you're going to repeat after me again okay just one more time, okay? Qul ya ayyuhal kafirun Qul ya ayyuhal kafirun La a'budu ma ta'budun La a'budu ma ta'budun Wa la antum a'abidun ma a'bud Wa la antum a'abidun ma a'bud Wa la ana a'abidun ma a'abattum Wa la antum a'abidun Wa la ana ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم واليدين لكم دينكم واليدين دينكم دينكم واليدين well done, Sumiha. Masha'Allah. Now that we've finished Surah so Learning Time, it's time for us to end the video. Assalamu As alaikum, everyone. <laughs>